Roderick Butler was shot dead on a sidewalk in broad daylight December 20th. And every day since, his mother Tony's prayed hard that God would take the person who killed her son off the streets. I, I was just saying, oh no, Lord, just help them to find him. Late Tuesday, Tony's prayers were answered. Police had released this photo of their suspect in the hope someone might recognize him. Despite the gloves, mask, and hoodie, someone did. Dallas police arrested and charged 45-year-old Corey Antoine Thompson with murder. After, according to his arrest affidavit, a woman came forward who said she recognized him as the guy who tried to rob her days before. That eventually led investigators to identify Thompson's vehicle. It takes courage because she realized that there are other people who's going to be impacted if he's not off the street. One day before Dallas police took Thompson off the streets, police in Balch Springs say a different man was murdered there on Christmas. Thompson's affidavit reveals he is also a person of interest in that case. Now Tony prays for that victim's family too. That God would give them the comfort. Roderick was an army vet who did not come from money, struggled with PTSD and homelessness after his time in the service. His mom and brother told me they worried that might mean his case would never be closed. Not having the, the lawyers or the resources. I mean, he didn't have like really rich parents or anything, but he was important and he was important to us. So this arrest was important to them. And I wouldn't have never stopped praying until they found him. Now that police have, instead of asking God for justice, Tony told me she can just thank him. For the times, you know, that I had with him as my son, and I thank God that I was his mother. Still a lot of questions left in that Balch Springs case, of course. We will keep you updated as we work it. Also in Thompson's arrest affidavit, investigators say he called 911 a month ago because he believed someone was trying to kill him.